everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an unboxing video. It has been quite a while. Today I am going to be unboxing a real Brachypelma smithy, not to be confused for Brachypelma homori or vice versa. Basically they're like twins, but they are not the same. A Brachypelma homori is a more common species and widely available. A Brachypelma smithy is more rare. It's kind of difficult to get your hands on, actually really difficult. And I never really thought that I would own a real Brachypelma smithy. Like I never expected that. Thank you so much Nate from Micro Wilderness for sending me this. If you guys are not familiar with Micro Wilderness, we've worked together quite a few times and they're a very reputable company. They also have a code on their website that you can type in. It's KAT10 and you will get 10% off of your order. I know you guys always use it, so that's cool. But yeah, you just got in a ginormous Brachypelma import from Mexico. It's legit, it's the real deal. Brachypelma are sites protected, so that just adds on like extra paperwork. Yeah, they come with like serial numbers. It's pretty fancy. Anyway, if you are into rare Brachypelma, of course, I will link his website down below. You can go check them out. I really suggest you do while they're here if you can. And let's just get right into this. Okay, so I have a real Brachypelma smithy in here. So I am a little nervous because shipping a tarantula this big can be a little risky. Because they are so bulky, they can have issues with shipping if they're not packaged really good or if you get a very rough mail carrier. Now I know Nate has been sending these out with no issues for anyone so far, so that's good. Check that out. So he says, each animal has its serial number. These are some of the species I thought you would enjoy, Nate. Thank you so much, Nate. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> This is the tarantula from Animal Crossing. Oh my God, Nate, you are so funny. Okay, so he told me there's three tarantulas in here. I know for sure one is the Brachypelma smithy and I've prepared an enclosure. Now it's not the best enclosure ever. I'm not sure if it's gonna be too small. I could use probably more substrate, I am aware, but remember we are in quarantine right now. This is what I have until my Amazon Prime comes in. So I'm hoping. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping that we can work with what I have today. I also have a few vials for slings. He told me there's two slings. So I'm hoping those vials are gonna be okay. If they're not, I do have some acrylic boxes that I purchased from Dollar Tree in bulk somewhere. So we might have to go on a little bit of adventure of finding them. But anyway, let's just get right into this. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. So this is gonna be the Brachypelma smithy, I'm sure, and we are going to set it right there. Now let's get started on these slings first. This is a Brachypelma verdezi. So do I have one of these? I believe I actually do have one of these. Yes, actually I got one for my birthday. Someone gave it to me, but of course I would never turn down another Brachypelma. I'm actually wondering if this one is going to be a little bit bigger or if it's gonna be smaller. So we will see in a moment and we have a Brachypelma albiceps, and this is actually a Brachypelma that I don't have. I actually have been wanting one of these for a really long time, but I haven't seen any available. So it's really cool that he thought of me and sent me this. I actually do have all these acrylic cases that I ordered from Dollar Tree a while back. So I can use these. I'm not sure if they're gonna be too big. Okay, so. I mean, this isn't a ton of substrate, but it is enough to cover the bottom and everything. So I'm just going to put a couple leaves in there. So these will have vent holes, but I'm not gonna poke the holes in until I see what size they are. So let's just get right into it. Oh, and you might be wondering why I'm wearing gloves. Now, they're not really necessary for these slings, but for the uh, larger ones, like my Smithy over there, I know that she kicks hairs really bad. In fact, Nate got haired pretty bad packaging her up. So I'm just taking some precautions. So let's just get right into this. I'm very nervous. Oh, it's just a little thing. You know what? The vials over there that I have will actually be perfect for it. When they're little like this, they can be a little speedy sometimes, but I think we'll be all right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come here. There it is. So this is the Brachypelma verdesi. This is perfect. Hey, where are you going? We're actually gonna try to get you right in there. <laughs> Very simple to boss around when they're that size. So this is actually perfect. There's the label, the serial number, and I just can use the shipping container. So that's actually, that works out much better than these. So next we have the Brachypelma albiceps, which I don't have one of these, like I said. It's very exciting. Oh, this one's bigger. 
It's a little bit bigger. There it is. I'm doing this like up in the air so you can see pretty good. I'm not too worried about these bolting. There you go. No, no, no. There we are. Hey, hey, stay there. Stay there. I'm not too worried about these bolting, I say, as it bolts out of the container. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's get a good look of it. Look at that little Brachypilma albiceps. Oh, it's so cute. All right, I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, but we got someone waiting on us over there. Wrong lid, where did I put the lid? Chaos. <laughs> no, 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 get down. Get down. This one did not want to go in the vial. But now you got plenty to dig. Look at it, it's already finding a little place to dig. Look at that, that's crazy. But yeah, there's the Brachypilma albiceps, and you know what that means. We've unboxed the Verdesi and the albiceps, so we have one more to unbox right now, and that is the most awaited. This is the Brachypilma smithy. I have never seen a real Brachypilma smithy, I don't think, so this is a very crazy moment. Let's hope she made her journey very carefully. All right, moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a real Brachypilma smithy and she's huge. Oh my goodness, let's see if we can get her out. I know she's probably stressed, but I really want her to get out and I'm gonna give her some water. All right, I'm gonna get her some water and I will be right back. She doesn't seem like she's kicking, so I think we're good on these. So this is what a real Becky Palma Smithy looks like. As you can see, she is very bright orange. And if you look at the pattern on her carapace, it is a bit different. Now this girl is pretty large and I think this enclosure will be fine for her for a while, but eventually I'd like to house her in something bigger. So before we go, I thought it was only right to compare the Hamori with the Smithy. So here is the Brachypilma Hamori. Now you see orange meat and this one is about, oh, I'd say about four inches now and it is also a female. So she actually just molted. So she is at her brightest color considering her like usual, I would say that this is her brightest that she she's been because she just molted and that's when their color is the most vivid. Let's take a look at her carapace though. As you see, that is her pattern. And then let's look right here at the Smithy. So of course she's larger. Look at that carapace pattern in comparison and you can see those differences. Plus this girl, I have a feeling she probably hasn't molted for a long time. She's pretty big and they don't molt frequently. <laughs> Even as slings, they don't molt very fast, but as adults, it can take them a very long time. I'm guessing that she is always going to be that bright orange, even brighter probably when she actually does become freshly molded. So here they are side by side. And of course, at first you would probably think that they're the same species. And for a really long time in the hobby, we thought they were the same species, but now we know they're two different species. This is a good example of why scientific names are very important because you don't want to breed a Smithy with a Hamori and mix them. You want to keep them pure. So there's the Smithy. And here is my beautiful Hamori. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we go though, I did just check my mail and realize I got a little piece of mail from my friend, Kim, Kimberly. She has an Etsy shop and I actually ordered something from her and it's kind of relatable to tarantulas a little bit. So I wanna go ahead and open it and show you guys. Oh, there's a pendant too. Okay, first let's look at this. So this is actually a hammock for Tut, my bearded dragon. If you guys remember recently, I was saying um, at the expo I went to like a month or so ago, I said that I was looking for a fabric bearded dragon hammock, something cute, and there were none, like literally none. So anyway, my I found out that my friend actually makes these. Um, so yeah, I ordered this. She didn't ask for this shout out or anything, but I just wanted to because this is really cute and her Etsy shop is really cute. Let's see what this is though. Actually, it looks like there's a card in here. 
Kat, thanks so much for supporting my business. I hope you love everything, including the necklaces for you and your daughter. Aww. Love playing Animal Crossing with you, Kim. Thank you so much, Kim. And look, this is going to have all her info on there. Go check her out. Go show her some love. I think she's actually making fabric masks right now, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's check this out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So the bat one, I'm guessing, is for me. And the flower one, I'm guessing, is for Fiona. Oh my gosh, it is so me. It's so cute. Thank you so much, Ken. I'll insert a video clip of what this looks like in Tut's cage right now. Here is the hammock. It looks so good, and I'm sure he's going to use it later. What do you think about that? Nothing else matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my new additions. Go check out Micro Wilderness. There is a code CAT10. You can get 10% off of your rare Brecky Poma, which is a pretty significant chunk of change, especially if you're spending a lot on a, an adult female. And yeah, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Stay safe, wash your hands.